the number of coronavirus cases continues to climb across the country, how the disease gets treated is evolving. One doctor on the front line of a national debate about ventilators has ties to Detroit. And he spoke to 7 investigator Heather Catalo about why he felt the need to blow the whistle on some coronavirus treatment strategies in the hopes of saving Americans. When news of the novel coronavirus first reached America, doctors here started preparing for a pneumonia-like illness. That's why we started stocking up on so many ventilators. But soon, some doctors started sounding the alarm about whether ventilators were doing more harm than good. It was an unimaginable situation. Dr. Cameron Kyle Seidel has been living the COVID-19 crisis on the front lines inside the Mamamides Medical Center in Brooklyn, New York. But he feels a big connection with Detroit. Dr. Kyle Seidel did his emergency medicine training at Detroit Receiving Hospital back in 2013. I love Detroit. I miss it. And, uh a special place in my heart for it. He did not plan for this, but Dr. Kyle Seidel suddenly became a sort of whistleblower about the use of ventilators at the start of the coronavirus surge in the U.S. Taking to YouTube and Twitter, Kyle Seidel called on his colleagues to rethink COVID-19. We are operating under a medical paradigm that is untrue. In short, I believe we are treating the wrong disease. And I fear that this misguided treatment will lead to a tremendous amount of harm to a great number of people in a very short time. Dr. Kyle Seidel says New York was about 10 days ahead of the rest of the country with the spread of the virus back in March and April. And he wanted to warn us all about the risk of using ventilators the same way doctors normally would for pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS patients. The risk of putting someone on but was higher than we had initially expected. And so you can imagine with all these patients filling up in, in New York City, what I imagined was this was gonna happen in every city in the country. Dr. Kyle Seidel says rather than oxygen deprivation from a pneumonia-like disease, COVID-19 presented more like high altitude sickness. He says the traditional airflow settings of the ventilators may have damaged patients' lungs. I wanted people to take a fresh look at what was going on. Some of that protocol has shifted and the notion that we need to put patients on a ventilator right away, while there is still intense debate within the medical community, um, you know, speaking to doctors around the country, it has shifted. Now that we're six months into the pandemic, physicians across the globe realize COVID-19 may be more of a vascular disease rather than strictly a respiratory disease. Kyle Seidel says he believes hospitals and doctors did the best that they could with the information they had at the start of the surge. Now he's just calling on researchers and experts to keep learning so patients in Detroit and across the country can have the best possible outcomes. People are making decisions about life or death uh, with people are very scared and, and I think that everyone is doing it in, in good faith. Doctors like Cameron Kyle Sedell say a healthy national debate about how to best treat this virus will only lead to better outcomes for all of us. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.